Hello, welcome to another unboxing video, this time of Hobby Boss's Italian MC200 Theatre uh, in 172nd scale. A uh, little bit of history on the plane. It first flew in 1937, prototype form, and was introduced in 1939. Um, it served uh, throughout the engagement that Italians were involved with. Um, though generally was underpowered and pretty much like most of the planes, was underarmed, equipped with only the 250 caliber machine guns at the nose. That was actually a pretty standard um, layout for most of the Italian fighters, especially in the early war. And again, like most of them, open cockpit as well, and some of the times no radios. Uh, they're a little bit behind the times with that one. Um, despite that, the Italian aircraft, uh, including the Seattle, was generally actually quite manoeuvrable and despite, say, being out, outgunned and had a power plant not that great, um, were still able to hold their own against the RAF fighters, the Hurricane and Spitfire. So, yeah, generally quite, quite an interesting little bit of history there. So, the plane itself, so uh, we'll do, well, the unboxing, sorry. We'll do this in the usual fashion. We'll look around the outside of the box, the contents, and the instructions. And then the individual components themselves. So, uh, top of the box, got a nice artwork of the model itself. A um, little bit of computer graphics added on top, just to make give you an impression it's flying along. But that's the actual model. Flying over... Somewhere mountainous. Uh, you got the size of the plane as well, just in case you needed to know. Uh, if you don't know millimeters, you can translate. Trans. Not translate. Um, you can com convert. That's the that's the word. Convert that into inches. So yeah, so that's the outside. Um, it's one of these easy assembly kits, which I've made one before. The um, Eichel One Six Two, the Salamander. Um, generally quite quick and easy kits to, well, quick and easy uh, uh, to build, so yeah, this would be a nice little thing to um, have a look at. Right, so, size of the box. I can't pick up the box, there we go. There we go, focused, so yeah, if you want to read that, sorry about the light glare. Yeah, I can't get around that. So if you want to pause that and have, have a read, go ahead. Uh, we've got a different angle of the plane this time, a bit more from the front. Made in China. Side of the box, um, we've got the front box art again, as well as Hobby Boss and the actual kit itself. A couple of screenshots, or a couple of photos of the uh, plane from the front and the back. Uh, age of 14 plus. The hobby boss and the barcode, and then, yep, same as the other side. Right, let's open him up, and if I remember correctly with this, I've... Da -da -da -da. Right. Instruction sheet. All folded A5 bit of paper, A4 bit of paper. That's literally it. Right. They're very nice in here because they actually pack everything. All the sprues are individually packed, or wrapped up, and yeah, you can see some of them are actually wrapped up in foam as well. We'll open this up, open it all up so you get to see. And they've got bubble wrap protecting the um, ailerons there, the tail front, tail surfaces. That's con containing the clear plastic, and there's your engine. So, small jump cuts. We look at the instructions. Yeah, so, yeah, you've got the box art again, and a load of icons, which I don't think they ever use in these instructions. Stuff to glue. Okie dokie. Any weight. Which, considering I made the salamander, which you definitely need nose weight for, that was never in instructions. Make a hole, cut, move, option. There is no options in this kit. No cement. We'll come back onto that one in a minute. 
deco and bend. Don't see any of this in the instructions. Spoilers. The item, item guys again, all the different parts. Hey, <laughs> this, this, that's literally the instructions. There's not a lot to this kit. So you make the cockpit, you've got the rudders apparently, the control stick and seat, put it into the lower fuselage slash wings, and then you put the upper fuselage on top. It doesn't even tell you to paint any of it. Though, if more than likely, the entire interior of the MC200 would be interior grey-green. Uh, good old Humbro 78. If you use Humbro or whatever the equivalent is. The canopy gets a whole single step. Glue the canopy on. I would recommend PVA if you use the plastic cement glue. It'll fog it up. But step three, landing gear and propeller. Now, this is what I was on about with the um, stuff on the front. The, uh, no, where is it? Yeah, no cement, that's what I was looking for. Propeller. Most people will recognize this particular setup, but if you don't, you put the propeller straight through the engine hub or engine cowling. And then you literally put a little dollop of glue, either on the end or in the hole there, and you just put that little cap on the end after it's put through the engine. That will give you the pinny, spinny propeller. But you do not, if you want spinny propeller, you do not glue propeller to cowling, or the engine basically. Perfect opportunity for that icon to be there, and it's not there. Yeah, you basically make the engine, and then you put the engine on the front. Nice and simple. Landing gear. Tail wheel already comes attached to the model. Clip the clip the wheels into the landing strut. Put the um, covers over the top, and then glue it straight onto the lower wing. And that's it. And then you've got the paint guides. So this one's the box art one, pretty certain, because of the yellow nose. Yep, there's no yellow nose, so it is definitely that one. So yeah, nice fun um, Mediterranean style camouflage. Well, it appears to be silver underside, but we'll get them to the colour guides in a minute. And we've got the other one, which is not as sandy, but still quite green. With yellow nose cowling tail band. Interestingly, it shows like white on the lower half of the engine, not engine, uh, wheel covers, but the same with here. It's, but I don't know because if you look at it, doesn't show anything of the sort why that would be there. It's on the same, it's on both of them. Only like the tip on that one and the entire lower bit on that one. But there's no colour guide to say that should be a different colour, so that's a bit odd. But this one's a bit more unique, I'd say. You've got the yellow engine cowling, the yellow um, fuselage band, wing tips, and white triangles on the wings, uh, which you have to paint. That's not decal, because uh, decal will give you a number. Uh, letters will give are uh, all colours. There we go. So we got so conveniently got Mr. Hobby's. In case you're a bit confused with the uh, Mr. Hobby type colours, uh, you got Mr. Colour if it's the number in black, or a curious Hobby colour if it's in the white box. And then you got Flair, Master Model, Tamiya, and Humbro. Ooh, Humbro 75, okay. So we got grass, light grey, white. Dark brown, which I think it's just for the engine. Yeah, D there it is. Just for literally the um, exhaust ring around the front. Yellow, yellow again. Yeah, so you've got German yellow RLM04 and creamy yellow. Ooh. Don't know where he's hiding on this. 
Oh, there's E. Is it not the sandy colour? E is the sand colour. Okay, that's weird. And then got tire black and silver. Silver just being for the propellers. So, okay, okay. Just as soon as it focused, jump cut so we get to look at all the different parts. I uh, will take them out of the bags, so um, I need to find a pair of scissors. Be right back. Okay, right, there we go. Everything's now open, so let's put it all to one side, out of the way. I put it in the way and then I'm going to be smoothing it out of the way. Right. Have a look at the lower fuselage first. Flash wings. So I say conveniently it comes with like nice foam and bubble wrap to protect the tail surfaces and the landing gear actually. But we can have a quick look at the um, panel work. Which doesn't look too bad considering the camera's not focusing. Mm, not focusing. You can see the, some of the panel lines there, but they're quite shallow. Oh, sorry, excuse me. And some nice race detail there. All right, let's see. Can I pull? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's pull this one off as well. There we go. So, yeah, control surfaces don't look too bad. They're quite nice there. There we go. Focus just enough. So, yeah, there's... It looks a bit sharp though on the camera, but it's not that bad actually um, on the model. Uh, can I get the bubble wrap? Off? Let's not do that single handed. Okay, bear with me. Jump cut. Alright, there's the bubble wrap. All nicely taken off. But it well, it served half its purpose. The ailerons are still there and don't look too bad. There's no rear landing gear. The rear wheels is not there. And it's not a case of I'm supposed to drill a hole and put it there. It is literally snapped off. You can just make out where you can see it's supposed to have been. Yeah, it has snapped off. I'm just checking the sprues as well. Oh, no, it's on. Thank you, pardon. Hold on. Guess we're doing the upper fuselage now. There he is. I sound corrected, but is it just me, or do I can see through the lens that wheel does not look round. Is that just flash? Okay, that's just flash. It is supposed to be a round wheel, but the flash is making it look um like it's supposed to be weighted on it's stood up like this somewhere. So the the upper fuselage. Oh, no, let's get the lower the fuselage and wings out of the way. Oh, a bubble wrap. So upper fuselage, got the two machine guns sticking out, quite nice, just representation. Uh, the foot, place to put the feet to try and climb in, you can just make them out on this side. Uh, again with the panel lines not too bad, I guess that's just sprue gate mark, probably be the same on the other side. And the interior detail. And non-existent. Don't get an instrument panel. Oh well. It's a, it serves a purpose. It's like an introductory model, or yeah, introductory model to get you in. Right. Next baggy. So we got uh, the cockpit section with your foot uh, foot pedals. Seat and control stick, which is there's not a lot of detail on it anyway. You're not going to see that much. Again, just a representation of the different, like the leather grip at the top, leather rubber, propeller, quite basic there. Landing gear, not too bad. Paint it, paint it up to make it a bit more detailed. Underside, pretty much the same again. Uh, in um, holes just to uh, 
put the landing gear into, so put landing struts onto there, so it's actually lines up, is it? Oh yeah, it'd be that one and that one at the top, you just see him sticking out of the side there. So, okie dokie. Uh, the engine next. I'll just do this one-handed. Oh, yeah, come back here. There he is. So yeah, the engine's all one piece. Especially the cowling. So you got semicircle, circle with a bit cut out of it. So it will only fit one way. Should be that way if I recall correctly. Yeah, can I stick it? No, I can't. Hold on. There you go, one-handed. Badly. Sorry. Right. Yeah, detail on the engine's not too bad. Again, it just gives you a rough representation of the model, of the engine itself, as well as the cowling around the outside. So, yeah, not too bad on that. And the last bit is the canopy. All wrapped up in bubble wrap. There he is. Can I push him out this bottom? Yeah, there we go. So, nice little canopy. I say it's still it's open, but not a lot of flash. Whoops. What am I flicking my way for? Go there. Yeah, some nice details on the on the canopy itself, just so you know which bits to paint and not paint. The um, air bubble in the middle of the actual window is not a good thing. I don't think that the there it is. Don't think that's supposed to be a feature of the plane. And I'll show you. Don't want to see my hand? It might be. Is it raised a bit? Not too sure. It's on both sides. Odd. But yeah, there's the um, canopy. It's fairly see-through-ish. As I've like made enough of these planes, will know them. Um, most of the clear plastic ain't that clear. So, okay, okay. I'll back box this back up again. And final thoughts. So yeah, final thoughts on this one. It's a nice little kit. Um, great for intro introducing introducing people into the hobby. Or in case you've had a modeler's block where you just don't know what you want to make next. Um, I would say paint next, but I don't know if the camouflage on these things is going to be enough to put to let people in or put some people off. Uh, but it was always worth giving it a try. As um, so I say to people, you paint to a standard you're happy with. So yeah, as long as you're happy with your model, so be it. So yeah, it's a good model for introductory or if you're just trying to get back into the hobby again after like a break or say you had a bit of a modeler's or painter's block. I uh, didn't look at the decals. That's a bit odd of me. Sorry. Hobby Boss were kind enough to actually provide the decals wrapped up in another plastic baggie and with a film, a, a tissue paper covering. But they actually sell taped it over this. I had to cut that off as well. I just left it on, so I'll just flip it back over afterwards. The decals look quite nice, actually. Um, can't remember what the I like axe head things are called, but you notice they are different. They do point in different directions. They, if I could bring the box out back in again, they always go on the outer side of the wings, uh, and the fuse large one. It's actually these tiny little ones up here. Uh, numbers nine and ten. They again they point forwards, and appear. Yeah, say so they're the fuselage ones, unlike the RAF's big roundels. Uh, the tail fin, the tail section, nice detail on them as well. Uh, not too much, and like the identification. Uh, it was a Greek, but being an Italian plane, it'd be Roman, uh, probably Roman god in the hexagonal, and some can the triangle can't make out what that is, witch or something, not sure. But yeah, nice little um, 
only a few decals, so again, that's great for, in, for, for introductory. There you go, jump cut back to the close box. Um, so yeah, nice little plane. Uh, recommend it, even if it's just first time into the Italian stuff. So I just had a horrible thought then. Um, so yeah, um, highly recommend it. Please, I'll say, uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment. Um, say if you've made any of these before or if you've made some uh, another uh, same plane but from a different manufacturer. Uh, subscribe as well if uh, you want to uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, so keep updated with the latest videos. Okay, thanks. Bye.